many people are returning to the airports to travel this summer, but if you haven't gone into one lately, there are a few things you may want to relearn. Yes, indeed. Washington Post reporter Natalie Compton created the Airport Travel Guide. She joined us right now. How are you, Natalie? I'm doing great. I'm doing even better because I'm not at an airport. Right, exactly. <laughs> well, I just went to one recently, and it's jam-packed, and it seems like a lot of people aren't following the airport instructions or the rules as you put them in your article. What are some of the rules we should be looking to? I think that a lot of people haven't been to the airport in a long time and they're forgetting about some of the basic etiquette that goes into existing as a society in general, but more so at the airport. Something that I see a lot is people dressing super casually for the airport. And that's not even just an aesthetics thing. That's just like, you're gonna be cold in the plane if you're in shorts and a crop top, or you're gonna have to go through TSA barefoot if you're in sandals. But some of the other key things I think are getting to the airport very early because right now it's not a normal time to be traveling. Flight attendants are saying there's a lot of cancellations happening on flights or delays or there are long lines at check-in. So a lot of people are arriving maybe closer to their takeoff time than they should be. And, uh, and there's just a lot of stress going on. So I think a lot of people need to remember to be very calm when they're going to the airport right now and, and give people a lot of patience when you arrive. Yeah, Natalie, you say uh, arrive early. Okay, I, I mean, it, that time window has sort of changed. Remember after 9-11, we got to the airport much, uh, much earlier than we normally would. What's the rule of thumb? I guess it depends on, you know, domestic or international. But what do you say, hour and a half still a good thumbnail? So I think a lot of people will feel very strongly about their airport arrival times. And my advice to those people right now is that even if back in the day you were somebody who liked to arrive right on time, that could work sometimes, but there are gonna be these outlier experiences at the airport right now that really will be better for you if you arrive early. So what flight attendants have told me or people in the uh, travel industry have said is that you wanna give yourself more than an hour for domestic travel maybe an hour and a half and for international travel two hours is the minimum there are times that you might not be able to check in online anymore for an international trip because you have to go show your vaccine card in person so there are all these new factors that go into arriving at the airport so i would say two plus hours for international an hour and a half for domestic well this wasn't in your article but we've done a lot of reports on some unruly passengers lately on the airport on the airplanes themselves you know what is with people they've got to like learn to relax and be you know especially now it is a very crazy time to especially be a flight attendant who's dealing with a lot of those people who are unruly on planes what people have said is it's this combination of increased stress obviously we're in a pandemic and there's still a lot of high tension with people going anywhere let alone being on a tiny plane together there are also people telling you new rules that maybe you're not used to oh you have to wear a mask or you you have to do these different things and that's frustrating people being in crowds with people is, is stressful and frustrating again and lastly alcohol seems to be a problem with a lot of these uh, fights that are happening on planes. So it's something whereas in previous years, maybe the FAA got 100 something complaints and in, in this year it's been thousands. So there are angrier people on planes right now. So if you're gonna be flying, remember that flight attendants have to deal with that on a daily basis, maybe multiple flights a day. Look them in the eye and say thank you, hello, and know that they are really going through it right now. Yeah, and limit that alcohol intake for sure. <laughs> Natalie Compton, thank you so much. Be safe, be well, and happy travels. Thank you. <laughs> Let's care. check in with Tom Skilling right now.